Hello, this is uh, the, the first part of the um, spreadsheet application to engineering. In the, um, in the first place, uh, we are going to see how to arrange the data. Uh, this is uh, the usual data that we get from the Ministry of Water Resources, and at the same time, uh, it has us with some some. Uh, Similar, it has some similarity with the same data that you gave from the meteorological stations. So uh, usually such kind of data are difficult for analysis and uh, we should be able to arrange them in, uh, in some handable format so that we can easily uh, deal with our data. So um, uh, we, we, are, we are going to use Excel uh, to try to um, arrange our data in, in the manner we like. So the first thing is um, that uh, uh, we have uh, days in the column, this column, and uh, this is um, months, and uh, every day indicates 31. Okay? So there is an opening for the February, April, June, and the like. So um, at the first step, uh, we have to avoid uh, all the, the unnecessary part of data that we, we don't need to um, we don't need to arrange in this case. So, for example, in between every data, so at the end of uh, every year, you have uh, the mean monthly flows and uh, the um, flows in billion million cubic meters, maximum flows, minimum flows, and runoff. So, this this part is unnecessary in this case. Uh, we have to remove it and. Um, so at the same time, we, ha we have uh, the already written uh, months uh, at the top, so we can, we can remove this part too. So which means uh, now we have an extension of the first year to the, the second one. So if you add a new row uh, before your days, and um, this is a 19, 1980. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then 1980 will go up to the 31, and then you have 1981, and uh, 1981 will go from there. Uh, so you have to you have to uh, do the same thing. For example, if I have an additional data time spans, I should remove um, this part, and then this is 1982. And, uh, look at the years. Uh, make sure that you haven't missed any any the year data. Um, and this is the 1983. And uh, can move this part. Okay, it's 1983. And um, so let's let's uh, let's deal with this one. Uh, three year data is enough uh, for uh, an example. So once you have this data, now um, you will see that uh, your data is uh, your data has been um, uh, your data is going to be um, arranged in some format uh, which needs some uh, matching point. So as our matching point, uh, we use uh, the years and uh, the days. Let's say uh, this is equal to year. Uh, plus day over 100 so this uh, will be a, a number that is not going to repeat again so for, for that reason it, it will help us as, as, as um, matching or looking up table so uh, you can do the same thing for the rest is, uh, okay. and, uh, sorry this one is uh, day So this is a unique number, uh, and uh, it will be unique for all of the, the values, uh, all of the, the values in we have in the years, and uh, it is going to help us as a matching pointers uh, when we try to uh, correlate uh, this table with uh, this table with the the, uh, the one we are going to arrange. So um, now you have uh, you have this is your step one is our step two um, after you remove the unnecessary data. And then, um, if you go to another sheet, um, now we have to prepare a place uh, where we can uh, we can uh, uh, put our data in a ranged form. 
So uh, consider this as a year and uh, this as a month. Uh, if you write, write them separately, and this as a day. Now uh, we are we are the first data uh, is 1982, and uh, the month is month one, and then the day is also day one. And uh, what we are going to in this uh, is uh, we we need to uh, write some equations, and when we write an equation, uh, we have to we have to rely on the previous cell, which means. Uh, as I'm saying, like today is 31. Um, if we day, if you say uh, yesterday is 30 and uh, today will be 30 plus one, uh, if you have to express like that, uh, we, we might need to jump this cell. So at this place, uh, we write our days formula actually. So now our writing depends on the previous cell. So uh, we have to write an if condition, like say is equal to if. If um, this cell, okay, particularly this cell is equal to 31, which means it is, if it is the end day of your month, then if this logic is true, if this logic is true, you test the logic, and if that is true, then put the value. So if this is true, then the today should be, this, this indicates yesterday, which means if this is true, today should be 1. Okay? And um, if this isn't true, or if the date has, hasn't reached 31, then today should be yesterday plus 1, which means if yesterday is 5, today will be 6. So um, you do that and uh, say enter. And um, actually, we have 3 years and um, 3 times uh, on average 366, right? So 908, and you have to drag this to up to 908 or 1100. So I look in the, the left corner of uh, the numbers, or the column numbers, and I uh, can drag them up to 1098. And uh, um, this is our data. So now um, you can go back to the top, and now try to write the months again. So. Um, the menses uh, should be written in in uh, an F conditions again. So uh, I, I can say uh, in this case uh, we have a double condition. One mens can be changed uh, when it is end of the year uh, because when when it is end of the year mens should start again from one. At the same time, uh, when it is end of the day of a single mens, then the second or the next mens should be uh, the previous plus one. So if I write two conditions, if and and, and then I have to write my logic, then the first logic is if this value, if the previous day's month is equal to 12. And at the same time, if the previous day uh, is uh, 31, okay, is equal to 31, and uh, I have to I have to tell the logic. So if this is true, so which means this is December thirty one first. Uh, so if it is December thirty one, and then the next day should be or if yesterday is December thirty one, uh, obviously today should be one. So if this logic is true, which means this logic can only be true if this and this both are true at the same time. If one of them is false, then the statement is false. So if this both is true, which means if today is uh, yesterday is uh, December uh, 31, then today should be January 1. So we have to say the month should start from 1. And if this is not true, I have to test some separate uh, condition, which is if um, if the, the yesterday, uh, now I have to only check, check the day. So if yesterday is 31, okay, if, if the day has reached 31, then today's month should be yesterday month value plus one, which means if yesterday is April 31, for example, today should be uh, May 31, and today should be May 1. So uh, April is uh, 0, 04, and May should be April plus one, so it is uh, the fifth month. So if this, is, um, if this case is uh, not true, which means if the day hasn't reached 31 still, so our month is uh, the same as the yesterday one. So you can say that and um, close your brackets. And then if you say uh, double click and see your data, 
uh, it will arrange um, in a form uh, when it reaches 12, so it will send us back to 1 and uh, it will write the data as in such a form. Now, uh, we have to write the year, okay, and to write the year again, we have to write it in a form like, um, uh, like, 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 like uh, we, we can, we can uh, uh, make it um, arrange self, which is, uh, we can say this is equal to, year is equal to, okay? if um, end again, uh, we, we have to enter two conditions, so um, if end, uh, the the first logic is uh, if 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 uh, the the month uh, has reached um, okay, if the month has reached twelve, and um, if uh, the day has reached thirty one, okay, which means the month the, the month has reached twelve and the day has reached thirty one, so the year should change. So if the, today's year is 1982, uh, and if today is the 31st of uh, December, then tomorrow should be January 1, 1983. So uh, if this is true, then the, the today's year should be yesterday plus one. But if it is, is the same true, which means if this value is or one of these two is false, then the year won't change. So it is the same as the yesterday's one. So you can say enter and uh, see if it arranges up to 1983 and uh, if it arranges it properly. Sorry, the year our year starts from 1980. Okay. 1980. So let's see if, if it goes up to uh, 1980s, 80 uh, up to 12 months. And uh, you can see that this is 1980, 12 months, 31. Then after that, you change to uh, 1981. Then uh, up to the end, uh, so we have 1982. Um, then uh, if we want to have the 1983, um, here we have up to 1983. So uh, we have to add 1983 here. So you can drag this one itself. So these are necessary parts, this part of 1984. So 1983 in this here. So this is where our data ends. Now we have to arrange the data, or I have to bring the data with the same days. So um, uh, uh, we, in this case, we use a function called vlookup, okay. and uh, then we have we have already prepared the lookup value, which is uh, uh, we, we we created as a function of the year and the month, year and the day. So we create the same lookup value here in order to match them uh, so that we can get uh, the values that we need at the, the points we need them. So which means this is a year uh, plus um, a day over 100. So that's what we did in the previous uh, uh, sheet. And then comma, then now you have to select the, the array, array table where which you want to arrange them uh, here. And so that is uh, including these values we have to select because this is the matching point it should be in the data and um, we have to select it like this okay, and and um, and then if you when you this is on sheet one and when you go, go back to sheet two uh, we, we don't have a chance to work on two sheets at a time so uh, this will be become sheet two so change that to one first and um, at the same time, the range of the columns on the rows in which we are dealing should be fixed. So if you say F4, and uh, here also if you say F4, uh, you will uh, bind them with a dollar sign, which means a fixed uh, point. Um, then say comma. Now uh, you have to enter the column index, and by default, when it starts running, it will run for, uh, for, for uh, the first month, month one. Then if, if it misses the margin, the month one, it, it should go to the month two. So 
The default one is that it starts with the month one. So uh, after finishing that one, we will uh, indicate that it should go to month two. Okay. And um, then after that, uh, we, we have to give a condition. So we have two conditions. So if we say true at the end, um, it, it, the approximate match is okay, or appro approximate matching is okay though. If, if it approximately matches, then it will bring the value. But in our case, we are arranging data. We need the data at their specific dates. So we need exact match. So if you want exact match, you can say false at the end, and then close your bracket and say okay so here is your data for the first day of 1980 if you came to and checked here this is your data for the first day of 1980 then if you double click here and here there are arranged data okay and one problem with such kind of arrangement is that uh, uh, the, the days uh, are all 31 for all months which means including February, April, June, uh, the, the days are 30, 31. So um, uh, what we have to do is we have to be able to remove the day, the, the, uh, the extra days. So uh, you can create your day here. So when the first one, uh, the first day, first month, 1980. And uh, if you double click here, uh, this is your day. So you can copy these two values. Okay. You can copy these values and paste it here in uh, in a form that it will not remove the data. So uh, say paste special okay, and values only. Then okay. Then uh, convert this to dates. Okay. And now uh, this is your data. Okay, whatever the station name is, you have to write the station name, and uh, this is day. Okay, and now you have to remove uh, the, any extra data as you might find. For example, the first point is our uh, February, so uh, February is 28, uh, and this in this year it is 1980, it is 29, so um, you have to remove these two parts. Then immediately as you remove, you have to uh, rearrange this one. Okay. And this this should uh, this time should match with this one. And again, uh, you have to go down. And uh, for example, April is thirty, so you have to f remove the thirty first one. Delete that, and then if you uh, double click here, uh, the day will be arranged again. And uh, you have to go to June. June is thirty, and then um, delete that and arrange your time still again and um, go to uh, and the uh, September okay and then this is 31 again so remove that and double click here and again um, move to the the, the uh, November uh, which is uh, 31 then arrange this one again then go to the December okay December is already 31 so when you reach that when you reach the first year in the point so check this time span 31 12 31's day 12 uh, 12's uh, months and 1980 so the same time should be uh, here so um, again you have to arrange the other day years or you have to remove uh, the same values from the other years like this okay Okay, that is uh, how how it is done or how we arrange the data uh, that we can obtain from the Ministry of Water Resources. So when you find uh, the, the stream flow data, it is okay, it is arranged like this, but when, if you find the, the rainfall data, they might be arranged in a reverse way and you have to um, convert them into some suitable form like this. And uh, then, then it is okay to, to, to arrange them. So uh, this is how we arrange data um, uh, that we can, uh, that in a way that we can use uh, easily. So if, if the data is arranged once like this, it will be much easier to handle and uh, to work on.